most times when we talk about healthcare or the hospital, all our mind goes to in relation to workers are doctors, nurses, and midwives. But there are a whole lot of careers or professionals that work in the hospital and doctors and nurses rely heavily on them to help deliver services or take care of patients. And this group of professionals are called allied health professionals or the allied health sciences. And without them, work cannot move smoothly in the hospital or the healthcare system will not be what it is. So today I thought to share with you 15 degree programs that are in the allied health sciences that you may not know about or even if you know about them, you don't know that you might be qualified to get into it. So if you are interested in knowing the 15 degree programs that I found out in Ghana that you can apply to, stay tuned and let's jump right into it, okay? So the professions I'm about to mention are not in any particular order. None is more important than the other. I just I'm just mentioning and I'll give a brief description about them and I'll put the schools, some of the schools that are found, especially the public schools and I think one private university that offer these programs. Please, if you're interested in any of these programs, do your own research and be sure that the school you are going to really offers those programs and so that you don't find yourself stranded with a certificate you cannot work with, okay? And the entry requirement is also A to C6 for three elective subjects and A to C6 for three core subjects, English, Math and Science. So that is that. But there are some specific courses that demand that you have general science background, like you have to have done general science in SHS. So when we get to those ones, I'll let you know which ones are for general science alone. And the ones that I don't specify as needing general science, it means whether you need home economics, general arts, visual arts, agri business and all of that, you can still apply to those programs. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so the first program on my list is biomedical sciences. I'm sure at one point in time you've been to the hospital and you were asked to go to the lab for some tests to be run on you. Part of the team or most times the leaders of the team at the lab are biomedical scientists. And these are people who use chemicals and machines to run tests on body fluids to discover diseases and things that are going on in the body to discover how the body systems or organs are functioning. So uh, doctors rely on them to run tests to tell them more or give them more information on what is happening in this patient's body at that point in time. So they use body fluids like blood, urine, and poo poo, and a whole lot. Anything that comes out of the human body, mucus, saliva, semen, and all of that, they use to run tests to determine the health of one individual. They are called biomedical scientists. The second program I want to talk about are still people who work in the lab, and they are called medical lab technicians. The program is called medical lab technology. Medical lab technicians work with the equipment of the lab so they make sure that the machine is working well it's well calibrated so that the figures you'll be getting from running tests in those machines are right and not leading and not giving false results and also it's like even at the lab because of the basic training generalized training you see a biomedical scientist and a medical lab technician doing almost the same thing you can meet both of them taking blood sample running tests and all of that but they are different um they are different programs altogether so the biomedical scientist is different from the medical lab technicians or medical lab technologists the next program is dietetics so they are sometimes interchanged with nutritionists but dietetics are different they use their knowledge of food and how nutrients affect and how nutrients affect the body to manage illnesses and conditions so you find that that so you find dietitians in the hospital taking care of people who need nutritional management alongside pharmaceutical management of their condition. Example is diabetes, hypertension, obesity, and all of that. So they use food, they guide you on what to eat and what not to eat so that you attain optimum health in times of illnesses and in times of diseases. So that's a dietitian for you. The fourth program on my list is health information or health or health informatics. So HIs help in the management of data, health data in the hospital or on the public health side. So 
anything concerning data, how to collect data, the proper management of data for uh, decision making, you find HIs there. And they also spearhead research and all of that. If you ask me, I would say it's one of the public health programs that is like gaining a lot of attention now because back then we didn't have uh, health information officers. So data was managed by other professionals, but with health information officers coming in, it's like they are spearheading data. So they have, it's like their role is very, very important in healthcare because without data, we wouldn't know what we are doing. It won't inform our decisions. So it's one of the careers that is booming now, especially in Ghana and in the world at large, because if you understand data, you go chop money. So that's health information for you. The fifth program I, I've already spoken about, and that's physician assistantship. Physician assistant dental and physician assistant medical. And for this one, for physician assistant, for you to apply directly, you would have to have a general science background. So they will need physics, chemistry, and biology as your elective subjects, and then English, math, and science as your core subjects to be able to apply. So for physician assistantship, you can't apply directly if you are not a general science student. But if you are a nurse, you can apply as a post-basic program to do physician assistantship. So the sixth program is called Diagnostic Imaging Technology or Radiographers. These are people who do X-ray, um, CT scan, MRI scan, all of the scans. So they use machines to take images of the human body, like organs and tissues of the human body to detect abnormalities. So those are radiographers. Still under diagnostics is diagnostic medical sonography or sonographers. So if you've been to the hospital and you were asked to go and take ultrasounds, especially if you were pregnant or you went to take abdominal scan and they put some gel on your stomach and some machine to check your abdomen. That is a sonographer. That's the person who did that is a sonographer. They use sound waves to take images of the human body, especially in the abdominal and pelvis for diagnostic purposes to diagnose problems with the human body. So we have radiographers and sonographers and they are both different programs on their own. Another degree program is community mental health. Most times in managing mentally ill clients, we institutionalize them at the psychiatric unit or in the psychiatric hospital but they realize that some of this illness could have been managed at home or in the community and most of the conditions can be prevented through education and health promotion activities and so community mental health officers work in the community to treat mental conditions in the community to uh, perform mental health activities at the doorstep of the people so that you don't have to look at how many psychiatric hospitals we have here in Ghana. I think about three. And there are a lot of people suffering from mental conditions. And so community mental health officers come in handy in treating these conditions in the home or in the community. It doesn't mean they don't use drugs. They also use their psychotropic drugs, but attend to the clients at home or in the community. This control and surveillance is another degree program here in Ghana. These people work in the public health domain to identify conditions of public health importance, conduct surveillance and contact tracing activities for diseases of public health importance. They also help manage communicable and non-communicable diseases. Anything disease control and elimination, disease control officers are in the forefront of those ones. And it's a good program, like in this age of COVID, vaccines coming in and all of that these control officers these control officers are in the front of that the next program is called physiotherapy and rehabilitation sciences so this group of people work with people who need rehabilitation to be able to move around after injury or diseases or even if they will not be able to move around just to help them uh, relieve pain that is associated with movement or prevent total immobility in some clients. So their work is mostly rehabilitative and somehow creative. So you hear that someone will say, oh, I'm going for physio, I'm going for physio. And the people they go to meet are the physiotherapists. And it's also a degree program here in Ghana. The next program is called Orthotics and Prosthetics. Orthotics <laughs> and Prosthetics. <laughs> <laughs> so these people work with prosthesis like when somebody has an amputation 
or loses a part of the body they work with plastics and metallic objects to form that body part so that the person can still have some quality of life so if you've ever seen someone with a fake leg or fake arm that is a prosthesis so these people work with those things to kind of give the person some quality of life in the functioning of uh, his or her body the next one is speech language and hearing sciences so these people work with people who has hearing impairment or language or speech impairment so they help to rehab uh, they help to uh, get the person to understand some form of communication or improve their hearing or their speech so any anyone facing difficulty in speech hearing and language this specialist coming to help improve that person's condition or give aids to help the person function on the daily the next program are environmental health officers in the hospital they see to it that the environment of the hospital is kept clean they also see to water sanitation and waste management so they make sure that medical waste is well separated from uh, general waste and proper disposal of medical waste is also ensured so that diseases are not spread across in the community because we just went to dump the medical waste somewhere and people came to have access to it so environmental health officers also work in the hospital to help keep waste management sanitation water and everything in check and they also work in the community i know you've heard of tankers tankers people are coming and then the food vendors will be running health as -getter. those people are called environmental health officers they ensure that the food and water that is sold on the street are safe and that people are in the right state of health to sell drinks and food to other people so those are environmental health officers so the program number 14 is opticians or the program is called ophthalmic dispensary so these are people who help customers to select uh, glasses or vision aids depending on their style and need and so when you go to the eye clinic and they find problems with your eye and you might need glasses you see that they'll send you to these opticians to go and have a fitting of glass frames and you go with the prescription to for the kind of glasses they should give you and so they will interpret and then let you get a glass with the style that you want you know wearing glasses can be an everyday thing so it should be something that you like wearing something that suits your style so that wearing it becomes easy so these are opticians and these people are different from the ophthalmic nurses and the eye doctor or optometrist okay and for this program i found only one school which is clintabs university that offers the degree program so you can also do your research to know which other schools if there are other schools that offer this program too okay and the last one is community nutrition i've already spoken about dietetics they are different from their community nutrition officers their work is mostly preventive to help people live a, a healthy lifestyle a good lifestyle that to prevent food related conditions and so they are called community nutrition officers i don't know if you remember in this country we talk about kwashoko and marasmus and cmam community management of malnutrition and all of that community nutrition officers are in front of those ones and they also conduct research on nutrition and eating habits and food behaviors of people in a catchment area so that's the list of my 15 allied health programs for you and this program and this list is not exhaustive there are lots of programs out there that maybe i'll talk about in the future but i thought 15 is a lot to jump into one video and this video is already long as it is so uh, maybe another time we'll do another batch of programs so like this video share and subscribe especially like this video so that it gets to a lot of people who are also in need of career knowledge career advice and all of that and i'll see you in my next one bye guys